MASH was different from any show we've ever done before. Most shows begin at the beginning, take the characters on a wild adventure, then end with a neatly packaged resolution. In MASH, everyone started off in Korea, and at the end, we're still in Korea. Since we were looking at a slice of life, we had to turn the stage into a home. The swamp was built as something four guys in a war zone could and did live in. As the show went on, the guys built up a collection of photos, letters from home, souvenirs, and, of course, dirty laundry. It's not exactly a simple task to outfit an entire cast as a medical unit, and it took a lot of knowing a guy to get all the props and costumes we needed. Authentic Korean War uniforms came all the way from a war museum in Kentucky. Props and tent parts came from a summer camp in Slippery Rock. And the rest? We had to make it with whatever we had, and a lot of olive drab paint. We started to feel like the 4077th was really there, really where we ate, slept, and lived every day. Really our home. Having such realistic sets and costumes pulled us all into the characters we were playing. It was more work than normal to get all of the scenery and build the tents like a lived-in home, but it paid off, as anyone in the show could tell since the 4077th Mobile Army Surgical Hospital really seemed to come alive right there on stage. Beauty and Beast. It's kind of long and unnecessary, about a few songs that don't need to be in there. Beauty and the Beast is a show about a castle with a really selfish prince. Lady. She's an old beggar woman? Yeah, an old beggar woman. So she's begging. It turns out to be a beautiful enchantress. I think waves are like magic wand or whatever. Transforms into the beast. He has to find someone to love him the way he is. If the magic rose dies before he changes his ways and gets someone to love him and love them in return. There also be a beast forever. He's not the prince of anything in particular. In fact, the people of France don't even know that he exists. Well, we've got Beauty, who is beautiful. Belle's in the town, and then everyone thinks she's weird. She reads books and she's not like the other girls. Her father goes off to the fair and he gets stuck in the woods. She should never do it in a Disney movie. That's always the first rule is not to go into the woods. And he ends up at this beast's house. The beast is all like, I'm the master of the castle. And there's kooky characters in the castle, too. So then we're back to the whole, like, Gaston thing. Gaston proposes, and she's like, no, because you're an idiot. And then I say, she's mean. And there's this beast guy, and no one loves him. No one. Just no one loves him. I go back, and I sing about how mad I am about it. So then we get to and be- And they sneak her down to dinner. Yeah, then she and then sneaks down. Her. And then we sing be our guest. And I'm a and knife. She's a knife and I'm a broom. So they're all frolicking about. Well then we get to the second act and Belle gets chased by wolves, but then the beast comes and saves her. Then we um, have dinner. We dance. But he doesn't say I love you. You gotta say I love you oh, close. Because if you don't say I love you flat out, then she's gonna leave just like she did. She said she misses her father. So, um, so she, she, I sent her a letter go. But all while during this, they fall in love. Belle and the Beast fall in love over books. And then the mob comes along, and then they start yelling that they want to kill the Beast. Because well, we don't want them to kill the Beast. But so then we fight them. Yeah. And I stab them. Then Lumiere sets some people's pants on fire, and uh, and, and talks to the Beast, but the Beast doesn't really respond because the Beast is stupid. And she ends up falling in love with him. The beast gets kissed, and somehow that transforms Lumiere back into a human. And Gaston gets chucked off a window, but doesn't make any sound. The spell's broken. Tough. Everything's all good. It's a real big tearjerker. It becomes a happy ending, I guess. It's pretty much the plot. I mean, as much as you want to see it. Anyway. Advice on love. And what I've learned is always have the last word. Even if the conversation is over, make sure you have the last word. Lesson I learned from Beauty and the Beast be aware of when your microphone is on. And don't be afraid to go out there and do something that could be entirely humiliating if the audience takes it the wrong way. You should always let old ladies in when it's cold outside because then. You'll get turned into a beast. Being a cross-dresser is really hard. Um, I guess I learned that you can find friends basically anywhere. Disney movies have taught me that you can win over any girl with a book and a mirror. 
beauty is on the inside. Just, dreams can always come true. Yeah. Give her books, say I love you, don't give her a mirror. A list of many of